USDA will help farmers and ranchers provide food and habitat for monarch butterflies in the Midwest and Southern Great Plains. The Natural Resources Conservation Service will invest $4 million next year to help producers attract monarch butterflies back to their natural habitat. So those are the 10 states that again are in the heart of the migration route. And recognizing again these are traveling species, so we want to make sure that they have the right food species that they can feed on, that they can get that, that energy that they need to continue their path. NRCS will help Midwest and Southern Great Plains farmers and ranchers plant milkweed and nectar-rich plants to attract these pollinators. They are a key component to that uh, contribution to crop production. And so we feel that we need to induce the right plants and the right species to enhance the, the return of the increase of the monarch and, and stop the decline. In addition to attracting monarch butterflies, Jordan says it's hoped other pollinators will be attracted by the planting efforts. Along with the benefits of monarch, they also provide benefits to you know, honeybees and other native bees that contribute significantly to the pollination process. Monarch populations have decreased significantly over the past two decades, in part because of the decrease in native plants like milkweed, which is the sole source of food for monarch caterpillars. Landowners interested in participating in the program should contact their local NRCS office. In Washington, for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.